Well, my, my uncle was the one that threw me into the readiness, like, because he had got sent off to do a one-year bid, and he had a one-year kid at the time. Yeah, just had a, just had him, and um, he uh, he was pretty much like the man of the house, and he was telling me, like, because I have older cousins, but they're all in college still and doing their thing, so he told me, like, if you're going to be around and I'm going to be going, you're going to be the man of the house, you're going to have to be assertive. He's like, I need this album from you. I need you to, to run in the direction that you want to run and do the things that you want to do, because, like, this is it. You, you're sitting back wasting time. I let you get away from college to do this and you need to be taking full advantage of it. And that's what really drove me from the inside. Like I was like, all right, I gotta get this done. I was always ready, but I don't think that I, cause you, you, it's like, it's the same concept when you're in high school and you're like, I'm the man, like I'm the man of this situation. You're not, you're just a kid, you know? <laughs> like, so it's like, it's the same situation. I felt like I was ready, but I, I, I know now that if I would have put an album out then or the, any year prior to what I did now, it wouldn't have sound like what I, what I have now because I hadn't been through that th them things yet. So. I grew up with my grandparents. They always tell me like, you should, you should make something that every age group can assess. So I'm like, what is the proper way to do that? I grew up in a house where I couldn't listen to rap all the time and my grandparents loved that soul music. So when I would play that soul music for anybody else or where I would go like, oh, I like this song, everybody loves that. So I was like, I'm gonna come with a soul vibe, which, which is what I know, you know what I'm saying? It's what I grew up on. I couldn't even listen to rap music and I know it very well. So I found people to compliment that sound and people who wanted to help me bring it out and everything just fell in line itself. So it was just perfect. I was in a studio session at True Studios with Cam Obi. He produced Faded in a Moment on the album as well as uh, Wonder. And um, he was making a beat and I told him like, man, I'm going for more of a soulful vibe. And he was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, bro. He was like, dude, I've been waiting for anybody to say that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, because he was making a little slap at me. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to come that aggressive on this album. Because you know, when you drive emotionally charged music, a lot of it, people are like, all right, I'm just going to listen to that later. I don't want to hear that right now. I wanted to get it off in a way that you can assess it and still, if you don't want to get too deep, you can still groove to it. And that's what I put together. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm going to give them emotional side, but I'm also going to keep it fun loving. So that's where all that came from. I knew I wanted to do that from the very first song. Though. My mom, she's on One Below. It was awkward. I didn't, because like, <laughs> she didn't want to record while I was there, so I had to leave out the room. I didn't get to hear why she was doing it live, but it came out dope, I'm excited. They told me like, cause I remember when I first heard it, they like, yo, she talked for like a, a minute straight, you wanna cut it? I said, hell no, that's my mom. We're not cutting nothing up. Like, you putting that whole thing on there. I'm real family oriented, so I was like, I'm not gonna put nothing out without having them be a part of it in some way or, fact, or fashion.